In this time, it's time to share with you all the opinions of me and our viewers on how to improve your FPS in Skyrim and how to avoid crashes. Viewers gave a few comments. What innovative ideas were there? Now, please click the subscribe like button once, and from now on, let's find out with me. The first is to have ChatGPT analyze the crash log of the NetScript framework. First, I will briefly introduce the NetScript framework. NetScript framework adds support for writing out crash logs so you can identify problems with your game or mod setup. When enabled, a crash log text file is created in NetScript framework crash whenever a CTD occurs in your Skyrim. But, the problem is that the language of these crash log files is too complex for normal players to interpret. So, at that time you can tell ChatGPT to parse this complex crash log language. The method is simple. First, open the crash log text file in the NetScript framework crash folder. Second, then copy and paste. Please refer to the crash log below and let me know what caused the CTD in Skyrim. Third, and don't copy everything from scratch, copy about 1000 columns. Fourth, then paste it into ChatGPT. If you do this, ChatGPT will analyze your crash logs. Of course, this method is difficult to see as accurate, but it can be a breakthrough way that ChatGPT can help you rather than the player analyzing alone. So, if you use this method, you will be able to reduce the amount of time you suffer from mod crashes. However, rather than completely relying on ChatGPT's log analysis, it is recommended to analyze the cause of the mod crash by referring to ChatGPT's log analysis. Second tip comes from Sonderbane, a viewer who recommends removing add-ons like Photo Studio. Even if they don't affect the ENB during gameplay, they can still impact FPS. By removing unnecessary add-ons, you can gain 15-20 frame rate, giving you a smoother and more enjoyable experience. In addition to removing add-ons, we highly recommend installing the Grass FPS Booster mod. This mod reduces the amount of grass rendered in the game, improving your FPS without sacrificing too much visual quality. Another helpful tip is to lower your graphics settings, especially if you're playing on an older computer. You can also try using a performance boosting mod like optimized vanilla textures to reduce the game's memory load. By following these tips, you can enjoy a more stable and improved Skyrim experience. Don't let low FPS and crashes ruin your game, take action today and enjoy a more seamless gaming experience. The third is to disable TrueHUD's actor info function. This is very useful especially for players whose FPS gets very low whenever combat starts. If your Skyrim suffers from severe frame drops every time you combat, try disabling TrueHUD's actor info feature. In my case, I was around 40-50 frames in the field before combat, but once combat started, my frames dropped to around 10-20. However, in my Skyrim, about 5-7 to seven enemies are spawned at once, and it seems that frames are dropped in the process of outputting true HUD information for a large number of actors. If you are experiencing the same symptoms as me, try disabling true HUD's actor info function. I used this method and the FPS increased by about 30 when combating, so please check it out. However, if there is no FPS drop during combat, you probably don't need to use this method. However, at this method, there is no way to find out the enemy's health information. In my case, I am solving this problem by activating Skyhud's enemy health bar, so please refer to it. The fourth method was taught by viewer Ari Pramadi. This is for owners of 1080p and Nvidia graphics cards. First, open Skyrim Prefs INI and set I size W to 1932 and I size H to 916. Second, set B full screen to 0 and B borderless to 1 to enable borderless screen. Third, open NVIDIA control panel, turn on image scaling and set sharpening to 30%. This will give you a performance boost while still maintaining rain occlusion compatibility with ENB. By following these steps, Ari Pramadi was able to get a 1020 frame rate boost in his game. We hope these tips help you improve your FPS and enjoy a smoother gaming experience in Skyrim. Thanks to Ari Pramadi for sharing this innovative method. Fifth is the opinion of viewer Filthy Frank. 
Reshade is a post-processing tool that can enhance the visuals of Skyrim. It can also be used to improve FPS by reducing the load on your graphics card. Some popular Reshade presets include Clarity and AMD CAS Sharpening, which can make the game look almost as good as ENB does. Pairing it with a good weather and lighting mod can further enhance your Skyrim experience. According to Filthy Frank, Reshade is becoming a viable alternative to ENB, thanks to Doodlezoid's mod contribution. With features such as proper grass lighting, tree lighting, shadow, and grass collision, Reshade is becoming a popular choice among Skyrim players. It's also performance-friendly, unlike ENB, which can cause performance issues even on high-end PCs due to its spaghetti code. Therefore, if you properly use Reshade along with Doodlezoid's mod, you can enjoy smooth gameplay and a more stable game experience through improved FPS while bringing out the visual quality of ENB. Sixth is field frame improvement through Dindalod texture optimization. If you have low frames in the field and are using Dindalod high quality landscape textures, you can improve the field frames by downgrading the quality of the textures. From what I've tested, Changing from 1024 textures to 256 textures improves frames by about 1020, and disabling Dindalod improves frames by 30. The difference between these frames is quite large, so I think it's something for you to consider. This shouldn't be too much of an issue if your computer is so powerful that the field frame is high even if you use Dindalod high-quality landscape textures. However, if you have a low field frame rate and really want to improve the frame rate, Downgrading the Dindalod high-quality landscape textures might be one solution, in which case blurring the landscape using the DOF feature is also an option. Check out this video for a video on how to DOF only the landscape part. The seventh is the crash fix method for NPC replacer mods through SSE Edit. Innovative NPC replacer mods have been appearing lately. However, the problem is that if you use multiple NPC replacer mods, NPCs whose appearance changes may overlap, causing the replacer mods to conflict with each other. In this case, you can fix the collision scene of NPC replacer mods through SSE Edit. The method is simple. First, run SSE Edit, right-click on Skyrim ESM, and click Apply Filter to show conflicts. This takes about 1 to 2 minutes. After that, crash mods will appear on the left. If you left-click on the NPC replacer mod, it will show which NPCs and which mods conflict with it. In my case, the Males of Skyrim and Sons of Nurn mods are conflicting with each other, especially the Farkas and Vilka's NPCs. This is because the Males of Skyrim and Sons of Nurn mod both replace the appearance of Farkas and Vilka's, but the cosmetic data that each mod changes is different. At this time, Right-click the NPC of the mod you don't want to use and click Remove to delete it, then save the ESP. Using this method, you can delete only the replacement data of a specific NPC in a specific mode. However, don't forget to search for the code value of the deleted NPC afterwards and delete the facegen data of the corresponding mod as well. This is because in my case, I deleted the NPC cosmetic data of Farkas and Vilkas from ESP of Sons of Nern mod, but the Farkas and Vilkas facegen data of Sons of Nern mod still remained. Therefore, you must delete the NPCs of the mod you want to delete through SSE Edit, and at the same time delete the NPC facegen data of the mod you want to delete. Anyway, if you use this method, you, you can use like multiple that? overlapping NPC terrible? replacer mods without conflicting with each other. Above, we learned about my and viewers know how to improve Skyrim's FPS and improve Crash. Thank you again to Sonderbane, Punished Filthy Frank, and Re Pramadi for giving us valuable know-how, and thank you to everyone who watched the video to the end. Today's video was made into a video by collecting opinions from viewers for the first time. If you have any personal opinions about making a video like this, please feel free to write in the comments. Subscriptions, likes and notification settings are very helpful for channel growth. Then see you next time. Happy modding!